Hey guys, it's X-Rays, and I just want to say welcome into 2018. This is the first day of 2018 on this vlog. We got quite a bit to do today, and um, so keep an eye on for that upcoming vlog. And the call and I just want to wish you guys a happy new year. Right, buddy? Yeah. All right. See? He's ready for the new year. Aren't you ready for the new year, buddy? Yeah, yeah. He's ready for the new year. Give me hugs. Hugs. Okay, now you're rubbing on me. Okay. He loves me. Uh, so, guys, there'll be a vlog today. I don't know what exactly is going on. There's still snow outside, and I have a cabinet I want to show you guys that I got. Or, not that I got, but that I was given. Um, it's like CDs on one side, and I can... I have to line the uh, the middle of it so it can fit DVDs and stuff. But um, so I don't really know what much I'm doing today. Might do some Xbox. Might go on a live. I have no idea. So um, this is just my Happy New Year's thing, and I hope you guys enjoyed the 2017 year review video. I've had a trouble, trouble. But I'm still having trouble getting it up. But when it's there, you guys can go back to the this previous video before this and see the 2017 year in review. Um, some good events happened there. <clears throat> some great events happened there. Uh, attended two concerts with the same lady. We went to Citadel Palooza on October 7th. And then we had the Jingle Ball concert on December 9th. And so yeah, just, just a lot, a lot of music. And the channel getting up, me releasing my first song. Um, surprisingly bad, we didn't get any movies filmed. But 2018 has more in chance for us to do. And uh, let's not forget the woman that came in my life. So uh, right now we're having some difficulties, but things happen. So you have anything to say? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, buddy. It's a happy new year, everybody. So this is happy new year from X-Rays and the Koala. So guys, I will see you guys in the vlog when we do it, and I don't, I'll be somewhere in there, um, but yeah, we'll be like, I'll be showing off the shelf and maybe some other stuff, I have no idea what I want to do today, but, you know, surprise, surprise, see you in the vlog, stay after you. At 50 plus years of age, farther away from Christ than ever before, I was completely broken and felt my life had no meaning. On the first day of my new job, I downloaded your app and listened to a new beginning on my commute. It's as though God was speaking directly to me through your message. It's been 50 days and I haven't missed any of your messages. I have a hope that I thought was gone permanently, and I want to be the God's father and husband that the Lord desires. Thank you for your ministry and helping put my faith back in Christ. It's only through the gifts of listeners like you that we can reach out each day with the encouragement found in God's Word. And we're so grateful for the way the Lord uses Pastor Greg's teaching. If you can help us with a year end investment, you can give securely online at harvest.org. And if your life has been touched through these daily studies, email Pastor Greg at greg at harvest.org. Pastor Greg has just okay. highlighted the question that Jesus was asked. So Who sinned, happened. this man or his parents? He would be born blind. So, Pastor Greg continues now with his message from the series called see me stuff on one side. Question of the Disciples brings us to another often asked question. Why does God allow yeah. suffering? Okay. Effectively what they're me. asking. They say, Lord, verse 2, so, Who sinned, this man or his parents? Uh, to be in the state he's in. In other words, why was this man born blind? And we can take that further and ask the question, why are babies born uh, with a disability? Why is there war? Why is there terrorism? Why is there tragedy? Why, why, why? It goes on and on. You know, sometimes you'll see people who are atheists. I don't know that some of them are. They say they are, but often they're not. But there are true atheists out there, at least they claim to be. And uh, 
and they'll see they've come to this conclusion after careful study and so forth. And there may be a few examples of that, but I felt by and large, people end up as atheists because something traumatic happened in them earlier in life. And thus they had to find a belief system or a lack thereof that would help them to deal with the pain that they had to face. An example is Ted Turner. He founded CNN. Uh, and he, as a young boy, uh, Ted wanted to be a missionary, but his sister came down with lupus, and Ted prayed fervently that she would be healed, and she died. So from that day on, Ted Turner was mad at God, and he's gone out of his way to mock Christians, to mock the Christian faith, and mock the Bible and so forth, calling Christianity a religion for losers. He became an atheist because he experienced a personal tragedy, and it made no sense to him. Because his problem was he could not reconcile a loving God and human suffering. And, uh, and some of you maybe struggle with these things because you were dealt a, a bad hand in life, so to speak. Uh, you were raised in a home that fell apart or an abusive home or an alcoholic home or someone very close to you died when you were young or some tragedy has befallen you even recently, and it makes no sense to you, and you're sort of angry at God. I hear people say, I'm mad at God. Really in the classic statement of this problem. Either God is all-powerful, but he's not all good, therefore he doesn't stop evil, or he's all good, but he's not all-powerful, therefore he can't stop evil. Evil. And there's that and the sea, and there's that sea side, God and then here I'm going to put the pegs into this, and put, see how many shelves of DVDs I could possibly get in there, add it on to what is already right here. So, you probably hear my little sermon I'm listening to, but, this is my phone going off, but, <clears throat> see if we can mute this, for now. Watching it on here. Suffering. Or not watching, but listening. Um, so yeah, this has CDs on the side that I can slide in there. But in here, I've already have all my CDs and these things. So, <clears throat> so this is in case I don't have any more room. I can put slots in there. Or I could put CD cases with DVDs in them. So there's two sides to that. And then in here, like I said, I'm going to put the pegs in, stuff like that. So, let's see. This has this is just only the start of the horror collection. All my DVDs are over there. Hey, I got a text. I'll check that out in a little bit. And then here's more. This is stuff I burned. I believe this is, yeah, this is the Ring and Grudge movies. That I burned and like more horror films. And this one is. I don't know what that is. I have to find that out. And then up here we have another holder that I started. It has the Brady Bunch Season 1 in it. And Old Dogs, which is the Disney movie with John Travolta and Rob Williams. So that's going to sit up there. This I was going to fill with horror. And these bags got to get out of the way. So I got to do like a time lapse of a cleanup in here. Um, but yeah, these have each two shelves. <clears throat> and then each of these are two shelves. This stuff I might put in that thing over there. Just don't know yet. And then this is four more empty shelves. So, um, so now back to this project. <laughs> back to this maniac project. Alright. A couple of videos popped up. I think I found okay, it. So, so I here in this copy now we got some like over there. Today. Today. We think that's it. So I bought him the robot <laughs> with an arm. So you run it off your iPhone. It just says little wheels and the thing leaks is that grab something just to that. But that's the okay. whole thing. Okay. So we're going to use cool the remake of the 2005 version of the Avenue of Horror. Which was an okay version. I'm not going to go into the details about the movie. You know, all of a sudden, the okay. Bluetooth disconnect is just here's gone. Here's what's going to happen. It's limited. The DVD it there. will be a robot with an arm, and the pegs have to with go a pre-recorded voice. Push out part of it, and the pegs are going to go but in. One of the good things about getting back from a trip, hopefully, is people miss you. Now that it's in there, it's feeling a little 
you, but uh, other Italians don't. No, like kind that. Of, kind of. Uh, you know, there's so. this too. We love you. That's the best thing in the It comes from the heart. Something that's robotic. Uh, something that's like reprogrammed. Right. Okay, so here's God. He doesn't want a bunch of robots. He wants us to love him because we choose to love him. But with that choice to say yes, also give the ability to make the choice to say no. So free will is our greatest blessing, and in some ways, our worst hurt. <clears throat> so really, we come down to this Earth question right about suffering, why it happens. And we always want to find cause and effect. I remember when 9-11 happened. And something that this was the judgment like of that. God on America. And so really, what, why the World Trade Center now in particular? Are there more wicked places in America than the World Trade Center? Are there more wicked places on Earth than New York City? It's you know, we now. begin to take so, that, think it through rationally, and it begins to not make sense. Earth. And I think it's always a big mistake to find cause and effect for tragedy. Oh, oh that uh, happened because they were wicked. Really? This actually told a story right, in the book of Luke, chapter 13, about a tower that fell in the group of Gentiles. A well-known Jewish man, tower, how killed some people. So Jesus asked a rhetorical question, were they the worst sinners in Jerusalem? And then he said, no, I tell you again, unless you repent, you will also perish. Basically, Christ is addressing this idea of things happening make no sense. And here's what I'm saying in effect. Bad. Things happen. What goes on? Bad. Not always explanation. Sometimes we see evil people do evil things and pay the consequences, right? Sometimes we see people going to a church retreat are killed by a drunk driver that pulls out of his lane and hits them. He survives. They worse than justice. And that, and we don't uh, understand that bad things happen that are inexplicable this side of heaven. Here was Christ's point. Hey, you think they were the worst sinners? Actually, they weren't. Unless you repent, you will perish. In other words, guess what, guys? He gets out of here alive. Everyone's going to die. And the greatest was like the most depressing message I've ever heard. Go back to the robot story. Let me finish. It'll get better, but I want to lay this foundation. We need to understand this. Bad things wrong. happen. Christians get cancer. Christians are killed in automobile accidents. Godly people face tragedy. It is not always something we can explain. But the most important thing for us is we have hope and followers of Jesus Christ because there's more than life on this earth. There is life beyond. So that's that what we should be able to get it. Good perspective on the suffering in this life. Oh, it's going to be challenging. Uh, we'll have more insights uh, in this setting of sports. Message titled, Why Does God Allow Suffering? Hear today's lesson again in a replay online by the Google Play Store. Actually, we can have these lessons like 1 800 1 800 Get harder in there, then I guess I will. But so, yep, so we got a disc that fits there, a disc that fits there, a disc that fits there, and a disc that fits there. And sometime on this channel, I will have to do like a collaboration of all the DVDs that I had. And we'll have to go through and see everyone, and you guys comment which are your favorites. So I tend to have all the how many bills, and I Burn the rest on DVD. The rest are down there, and there's Halloweens, and it's just a lot to go through. So it, it would have to be in parts if I did any DVD collection stuff. 
so you guys probably saw this my handy phone holder posters I cleaned up off of there and I put them in a box emoji stuff and I got a little bit of cleaning up to do got some stuff over there and some stuff down here and, uh, I think it's just time to do a video on a room remodel or something like that so I used to have all my DVDs right here and then the dresser used to be facing that way which I might want to do again I'll just turn the dresser face it that way and then put my cabinets back so I have room here and I'll probably put that stuff there so that'll be I don't know I could do that today well I have my day off at least get something productive done um, but yeah it's 530 and the day is like crazy almost gone already <laughs> the first day of New Year's so but I like my setup here I just got random shit laying everywhere because I'm just moving stuff and if you guys haven't seen my monster collection <laughs> hydros and all that stuff yep that's that so um that's about all I could think of at the moment so um I gotta go see my phone's blowing up down there and uh, so there we have that done and then I'm going to get a piece of paper out and start thinking where how I want to rearrange this room so until next time guys stay x-rated peace out